welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to start working on another space in the house. And I just did a poll recently on the YouTube channel where I shared four different spaces I was thinking of working on. And I completely forgot that we still have the office to work on as well. And Marie's bedroom did win the poll. Marie's bedroom was one of them. I normally do my own bedroom and like my own stuff last in the space. That's what I did in our other apartment as well. I was thinking of doing Marie's room because some of the pieces are already ordered for that space. However, there is a delay with one of the main items. So I do want to just kind of push that back a couple of weeks and I think we are going to start working on the office space because I would love an area I could go and edit. I'm currently just like editing in the living room, editing downstairs, but I love editing at an actual desk and at a table. So I would really love to have a designated space for that. And this room just gets so much light. It has a great balcony off of it. You can like see everything from it. I feel like it's almost the headquarters of the home in a sense. And I feel like it's just gonna be perfect as the office space. So I wanna share with you guys what it looks like currently and we are going to start making this over. First thing I do wanna do is get some of these items out in here. You can probably see that there's some stuff back there. I wanna share with you the room and also share with you the paint color that I selected. This is one of my favorite rooms in the entire home just because it's really unique. It's right off the living room. There's only one of them in the duplex, so it's the only room that actually isn't duplicated twice. So I kind of feel like it's special in its own sense, and I am just really excited to get to working on this space. We also have this random window here. I have ideas for that. Wood slat ceiling DIY. There's a lot. We are on my computer and I actually have a new board opened on my Milano and I love Milano. It's what I use to design and kind of mood board and conceptualize all my projects. It's what I do all my brand projects on. Um, I just really love this website, but I created an office board because I want to start drawing some inspo that we can use for this design. So I'm on my Pinterest and I am just going to go and search green office. And there's one office that I know, an amber interiors one, and this is kind of like what I'm wanting for my home office. Like I feel like this is such a pretty vibe definitely a lighter color this is more of like a foresty green i'm thinking more of an olive tone just to go with the warmth of the living room so i'm gonna save this and then i'm gonna scroll down and see if there's anything that kind of correlates to it this here is kind of the hero image and inspo of this office green paint colors let's look at some olive green paint colors now this particular color is definitely not right it's a little bit on the brighter side but there's something about this shade of green that i like i'm gonna save it for the time being just to kind of bounce this color idea off so I just added this picture of our current wood flooring upstairs, and this is what's in the office. So we are gonna have a darker wood floor in there. This right here is kind of the idea that I have for the ceiling, this kind of coffered design, and we're gonna add to the current beams that are there and try to make it look original. So I'm gonna save this to the mood board. Honestly, after I drop this in, you can kind of get an idea for the flooring here, the green wall, um, more of an olive tone, and then kind of the wood ceiling, which would match the flooring a bit. This right here is another really great inspo picture that I had saved for the ceiling and I love how it has this dental molding within the coffered design so it has kind of that gridded coffered design but then it has these tiny little dental moldings this one also has this great like paint work in it as well I actually really love the light curtain against the dark in here and there's gonna be a lot of dark so I'm thinking keeping the curtain on the lighter side maybe like a cream or a natural color now I definitely know that I want an antique desk or like an older desk I don't want the desk to feel modern I actually am thinking of using a more modern light fixture in here this is a vibe that I'm thinking for the desk something antique something old I love love how this is actually an old farmhouse table. This price is illegal. It actually should be illegal in many different areas. I know that Olive Atelier has a piece very similar to this. I saw it recently there and I'm thinking it could work great. So I'm going to save this because theirs is a fraction of the price. Something like this. This is what I'm picturing as my desk situation. Something more along the lines of a table, but could function as a desk. But I love the idea of having a larger table in here because the room is pretty substantial. So we could get away with like a larger work table and then just have some chairs on either side. Something else to also add is the rug. So this is the rug here. I'm gonna increase the size of this flooring and then I'm just gonna kind of pop the rug just right over top of it. We can move this over here. I just feel like for lighting in this space, I want something on the newer side because we have a 1920s gothic chandelier in the living room, which is attached to this room. And I just don't want to do an antique desk, an antique light, another antique light, and just make it feel like almost like a period, like, 
piece home, if that makes sense. I want to make it feel a little bit modern at the same time. So I think adding a light like this in the office space kind of feels a bit better than in the main living room. Something like this could be so pretty, just kind of soft and it just softens the harshness of that gothic chandelier, which I love that kind of juxtaposition between those. So I'm going to save this for now. I think if we use lots of lighter tones on top of our dark backdrop, which is going to be the flooring, our wall color, I want it to be something like a mixture of these two, maybe a little bit lighter. We're going to have to look at a fan deck for that. And this is a great direction so far though. And I'm not too sure actually what to do for the chairs. We could play around with those at a later time. Vintage pottery. Mm -hmm. This bookshelf back here actually matches the dining table that's in the dining room. I bought this from Brittany from Badlands Vintage, and I bought the table first, and then when I moved into the house, she actually had the coordinating bookshelf still, so I ended up getting it because I thought it would go somewhere in the house, but I haven't found the perfect spot. Justin, what are you doing up there? I was seeing how sturdy it was. <laughs> So this is what that bookshelf looks like. So, so pretty. I had to get it when I saw it. And I love how substantial the shelves are. So I want to share with you guys a little bit of the palette for this room. So I have this incredible rug here and I've had this one for a while. It is this Moroccan Berber rug and it's a checkerboard. I love it. It's so thick and it has this great tassel on the end as well. So I'm thinking I want to use this in the room. Now for curtains, I actually am thinking this kind of lighter color because for the walls in here, I really want to do a green. I absolutely love green. It's my favorite color. And I figure since I'm going to be in this room so often working and editing, I want a color that I have loved living with in the past. And I've had a green bedroom and I loved it along with a green bathroom. And so I feel like this color here is the one that I found that I'm really gravitating towards. It's Renwick Olive. And if you do get a Sherwin-Williams deck like this, they have historic colors in the back, if you didn't know. And they're really, really pretty. And they actually channel different architectural styles. So there's arts and crafts, there's Victorian, um, suburban modern. So you can choose from those. And I found this really pretty olive tone. So I'm thinking of doing Renwick Olive with this rug with these curtains, and then some form of vintage style desk, a fun light. That's the starting point, and then we'll see where we are going to go from there. Look at the previous color in here. This red. Taking you behind the scenes of a TikTok transition, because I do these all the time. And wrap. For that TikTok, I did have to open the can of paint and I started a little bit of the painting on the wall. Here's the color. It's pretty, I love it from what I see. Um, but of course, I need to add a little bit more of that. We're going to go through and patch the holes above here where the previous blinds were and start painting the room. on so cool toned like the color in the can compared to the color once it's fully dried down is pretty intense and this was a Sherwin Williams color that we picked up at an actual Sherwin Williams location because they have higher quality of paint at Sherwin Williams locations compared to Lowe's and on the window trim I actually did the bin enamel zinzer primer all across all of the window trim I'll link this below whenever you are painting anything glossy or something that you just want to make sure
sure your paint is gonna stick to. Always spray this or paint this on first, let it dry down, and then go in with your paint over top. I mentioned something about a wood slat ceiling, so I wanted to get an idea of what a darker ceiling was gonna look like in this room. So I actually had a quart of brown paint from an old project that I decided to coat on the ceiling to get an idea for what a dark ceiling would look like. Justin, would you like to keep this light? I knew you were like really interested in it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for a gorgeous brush nickel flush now. <laughs> Look at what color the office is. It is green and I love it, you guys. I woke up today, came in this room, and it is the perfect shade. Now, the color's coming off a little strange because it's backlit at the moment. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's really great. And then we also ended up painting the ceiling, as you saw, just a dark brown because we're gonna be doing a DIY kind of coffered wood ceiling that's gonna coordinate with the cathedral ceiling in the main living room area. So it kind of has some fluidity from this room into the office space. But I wanna also share with you the rug that I have for this room, which you've seen a little sneak peek of it. Actually, when I first got this house, I kind of looked for a few rugs because I knew I needed something in the home and I found this one that I got for a pretty great deal at a store that was going out of business so I loved it and it's actually one that you could do on either side it has this kind of more gray or checkerboard on the opposite side but I think this will be a perfect base and I love how it fills the full room as well the other day I might have purchased a desk for this space, but I have been needing a desk. I need a work area because I edit all of these videos. I actually, I got this from Olive Atelier and I am so excited to share it with you guys. It actually is, I believe, like a vintage kitchen island. Again, same thing I had for the coffee table, but this one is gonna work perfectly as a desk. I will say that the actual top portion of it that has the drawer section is pretty thick, but I'm gonna DIY it a little taller and I also am just a small, legged person, so I'm totally fine sitting at it. I've already tested it out. Here we go. Ah! Hit something on accident. <laughs> Oopsies. It's a very large chest. It is. <laughs> Does it look centered? This is the desk, you guys, and let me bring you in a bit closer because I need to share with you all the beautiful details. And look how pretty the wood is. This is a vintage kitchen island or an antique one, and it has these really large drawers on either end, and they are huge. And the thing I love about them is they are so deep. Like, can you see how deep that drawer is? I could fit my microphones in here. I could fit all my laptops, my computer, my editing equipment. Everything can fit in here. The drawers are literally literally half of the desk size, so you can pull it out all the way. And there's also one on this end. They each have their own little cup handle, which is so cute. And look, put some supplies in here already from this makeover that I've been working on. But I just love the desk. And I also really, really like how it has a very smooth, like splinter free finish. It's like you can like work on here 24 seven and you're gonna be totally fine. Whereas some other vintage desks are a little bit more rough and you know, the wood's beaten up. I really like the finish on this one. It's great as an actual workspace. It doesn't give you a ton of space to actually put a chair underneath. So we are gonna be lifting it just a bit, but look at like how pretty the little details are. The drawer, I love how this looks.
Now to give you a little idea of what I'm planning for the rest of the space, I'm thinking of doing kind of a smaller chair on this side and then my actual work chair on the back side, just so that like if someone else wants to work here, the desk is definitely large enough for probably three people to work at. And then back here, I still wanna figure out some large art piece, whether it be a DIY, um, maybe a tapestry. I was even thinking of hanging a rug, so that's also a potential option. Light fixture, wanna figure that out. I do have something in mind, but we are gonna be doing the wooden coffered ceiling as well, which we are going to be doing in the next video. I think it's going to really elevate this space and just make it feel even more grand, kind of part of the living room as well. And then over here, kind of thinking of doing an art piece, the windows to the right of the desk up here, I'm actually thinking of doing some DIY stained glass. So let me know if you would like a tutorial on making your own stained glass panels for windows, because this is kind of an odd window. And I thought, how cool would it be to make that kind of a stained glass moment? as part of the office and what about like fox heads fox heads in these what are your thoughts I started working on the coffered ceiling yesterday, but I'm actually doing a whole video on that because it's kind of a pretty in-depth process, so it's gonna be its own video. But I thought we could do kind of like a little office setup, like a mock setup with some chairs that I already own. So I actually purchased one of these chairs for this office room, and I wanna see if it looks good in here. I got two of these. I actually put one of them in the downstairs lobby room, and then this is the other one. I love this chair. I've seen it on social media for so long. It's by Lulu and Georgia in Sarah Sherman Samuels. It's such a cool, just like little chair. I love the wavy detail on the top. And I always pictured it kind of being like a little accent chair in front of the desk. I like how small it is. I like that it could be a chair, but it also kind of feels like a stool. I just pulled one of these breakfast nook chairs because if you guys remember, I actually ended up getting eight of these. The Facebook Marketplace listing was for eight of them, and I only used five in the breakfast nook. So I have three more. This is just, I probably don't want this though as an office chair, you know? Like, I don't know if I really want to work. It's really more so to get an idea for what kind of a chair would look like back there. Wait, that looks really, really good. This is from my old office at my apartment. It's from Etsy, but I got a cute little table lamp. The shape of that one's great. Okay, that looks great. I love, love, love that lamp there. Gosh, this is looking so good so far. I'm actually gonna end this video right here just because we are working on the coffered ceiling today. I could give you like maybe a teensy sneaky peek. Actually, I'll give you the tiniest. Let me give you one. Check it out. It's looking good. It is looking so good and we are going to continue work on that today, adding all of the slats and that's going to be the next video in the office space and I just cannot wait to start working in here. I actually have been working in here. It's been about two days since owning the desk or having the desk in the space and each morning I have been coming in here. I actually did my last Zoom call in here as well. I did also want to let everyone know who is interested that there is a vintage drop this Sunday over on my website lonefox.com at 10 a.m. So if you are interested third vintage drop that we have ever done and this one actually is a bit smaller than the first and the second i've kind of been a bit more selective on what i've been adding lately and these pieces i think there's around 50 items so if you are interested set your alarms 10 a.m on sunday and you could also sign up to the newsletter or just follow along on instagram where i'll be posting updates over there but that's everything i wanted to share with you in today's video and i hope that you have an amazing rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in my next one